about, you know, social media and its use of Welcome, that guys. You have no clue what we're talking about. That's None. That's why I love None. this show. Hey, and we love Burning After Watching. And what did we watch? What movie did we watch this week? The Haunted. The Haunting Haunted Con. Made in 1991. That wasn't the camera that was moving. That was actually the whole earth. Yeah. So, because no, of the it's a ghost. Obviously. This is nice. I, this is kind of jaunty. I like this, this little yes. jaunty. We have some room to move around. It's good. Perfect Burn After Watching, oh, Let's talk about this beer, though. So we got that mm. Southern Tier Nitro Hot Cocoa Black Water, Water Series. Series. That's very nice. Ten percent alcohol by the way. Hmm. Good way to start. Oh my yeah. god. I think did, we, we, did we have this one before? Yeah. And I was you like, it's so disgustingly sweet. sweet. It's good, I like it. It tastes like hot cocoa. Oh. It's really good. Guys, so so we watched uh, the 1991 classic, The Haunted, a horror movie starring Sally Kirkland and uh, Jeffrey DeMunn. Yep. So I grew up watching this movie. This like I, are we calling it a classic? It is for me. Every I, I've called every movie we watched yeah, a classic. Yeah, so there you go. Like I'm Yoga Hose is a classic. But this is a movie I've legitimately Kevin's watched at least probably like ten times in my life. So I don't even get. I don't even understand how. Like, <laughs> I barely my missed mom, one watching my this. My mom liked cheesy supernatural made-for-TV movies, so this we like watched all of them. So, so what? Yeah. One thing you should not do when you're watching this movie is put headphones on because. The soundtrack is atrocious. Oh yeah, the sound is terrible. It, like it's well, the music, it's everything. Oh, yeah. yeah, the music itself was really bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they had like a monkey make it or if it was like they just stole it from like a nineteen sixty. I think, I think it was like the free songs they could get in nineteen ninety one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was troubling. Yeah, I, I like this only right. Like, well, and the sound like, effects happiness. weren't any better. So were you watching this like in the dark with your headphones on, like? Oh, why are they both saying this? Because Nina's watching something. I was, I was like in the lights, full, but she full, did hear uh, a lot of like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like Jamie would have liked this movie. No, no, no. She would have one hundred percent not liked this movie. That, why? Usually, you're actually pretty on the ball with stuff she likes, but she would have hated this movie. She didn't like cheesy. She would have walked out of it. Cause, 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 well, first off, the sound bad, just bad, bad, bad. She would have been like, nah, I can't, can't hear, hear this stuff. And like, also, the religious connotations were just so dumb. In this whole movie. That's the whole point. Yeah, but it, like they're taking, they're like very uh, like unironic about how. It's... Oh no, they're being a hundred percent serious. Yeah. So let's talk about the history of this. This no, is this supposedly was a real down. family. This is a real family in the late nineteen seventies that moved into a two family home with the grandfather and grandmother, and said all they just you know all of a sudden started having all these things happening. They had to replace things all the time. The house was like falling apart, and it's so not like a Tesla coil in their and they couldn't, yeah they couldn't get the the church to help them. Yeah, so they yeah, went yeah. to they went to the newspaper. And then basically, like, blamed the newspaper on ending and eventually pushing them out of their home because they had to move on. But then they moved on and it followed them. It's and fine. so, this newspaper reporter basically wrote this very biased story about it. What and then that's where the movie what came from. A so, there you go. Was he biased against the family? Or no, for, for, them? for them. Okay. Like, he took, listened to everything they said and just wrote it down as, like, fact. So it's it's very much like the Amityville horror, like that kind of thing. Except well, this is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent true. Right, obviously. Okay. Yeah, this happened to the, the Smurl family, and that was their real name too. The, the Smurl family. That can't be a real name. Like it, like it's so close to the Smurfs. I was like, yeah. yeah. no. That though, that is those people's name. Does not sound like a word like, at no, all? No. It sounds like a terrible deep bog. Irish name. It sounded like somebody <laughs> like, was really drunk and they were trying to say yeah. their last name. That's all it came out. And and like, no, they were smurling. They are like, smurl. Yeah. Smurl. Maybe throwing up. Okay, yeah. the first part about this movie, I noticed the narration in the beginning was trash. I was like, please stop. Yeah. It was like an after school special. Yeah. Bad. It was yeah. like, and then we moved to yeah. this new home. How painful. you find? I'm like, hmm. And then I saw that George Wallace was in this movie. I was like, comedian George fucking Wallace. Motherfucking George Wallace is in this movie. Like, this is going to be no. great. There were no black people. It was a different George Wallace. No, there wasn't a single black person. <laughs> I don't, there wasn't a. I well, don't it is Pennsylvania. Was. Was. No, that's what I mean. No. And they were all like, like white Catholics. Is it Pennsylvania Catholics. they moved out of Pennsylvania? No, they lived, it was in Pennsylvania. Yeah, is it a part they of had, Pennsylvania? And they, their house had been destroyed in a real storm that happened. A hurricane came through and Agnes. flooded like a whole town. Which I said no insurance or something? Because like just. It just destroyed like like a whole town. Like yeah, they couldn't even. Nice. They were like, we're not gonna. And the kids. And the insurance probably gave them money to move. So but they yeah, had no place to get out of your town. So, so they had to find this new place. So 
Well, also, their and town they, was in Pennsylvania, where the hurricane destroyed it. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, jeez. That happens. It happens, man, yeah. I mean, so like they have Mount Rainier like, right like there. Like in New York City, you know, like, like the Appalachian Mountains? Not, they're like right on the edge of the ocean, yeah, though. Yeah, like just right there. Do you not know what America looks like? So... I think we found a new thing. Well, the, ocean, the Pennsylvania Ocean is? That's what I was confused. There's an ocean near Pennsylvania. Like, where Pennsylvania touches an ocean. Yeah, if you're, like, downstate... <laughs> like, look this up. Okay, we're going to pause. Mess and look this up real quick. And then we'll come back, okay? And then... Okay, now we're, we cut back. We're back in, guys. Um, um, so anyway, that's, like, the least important part of the story. So they move into this new home. And immediately things start happening. Like he's hammering something. A pipe. He's hammering a pipe because that's what people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then his hammer disappears. But then two minutes later, <sighs> it's still there. And I was just like, I, I was like, uh, Frank's? Yeah. <laughs> the hammer is missing. The hammer is back. Like, okay. Oh, but the first thing I wrote was, this grandma is an OG bitch. So, yeah, she's like, like, right from the beginning, they're yeah. driving in the car and she's like, do we have to move again? It's like, bitch, your house is she's gone. She's definitely gone. Your house is not there. <laughs> she's definitely the grandma that, like, pulls her purse with black people. They, like, gave her the weirdest scenes. Yeah. And, like, every one of her scenes was really weird. Yeah. And I thought, like, I, I, I thought they were going to, like, say, like, oh, she's the ghost or something. And it wasn't. <laughs> I thought like, she wasn't there the whole time. The, but no, she's just weird. I don't know if the actress or, like, how they shot her. She was a good actress. There's yeah. one scene where she's just vacuuming. Yeah. For, like, way well, too no, long. Well, no, but then the thing comes the in. That's yeah, the whole... Like, oh, yeah, no. The vacuum for this, way too the long. The shots are not, are not good. And, like, and like I thought, like, like, I know it's based on a true story, but, like, I thought, like, maybe they'd be like, oh, this kills her. She has a heart attack. Yeah. Because they talk about, like, how bad she's going to die soon. And then, oh, this is what kills... No. Okay. okay. No, because she, you know. This movie, like, took zero chances, and it was either no. either because it was, you like, made me think she was going to die. And I thought, oh, she's going to get murdered by that ghost. She's going to get murdered by that. No, I just, like, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Except for the one scene, which we'll get into. Like, what did this ghost do? Didn't do anything. Oh, just, so. Like, was a jerk. This was annoying. Can like, we talk jerk. about, too, like, in the first five minutes, like, this movie's so easily set up and just ridiculous. Like, three of the people in the family are like, we plan on being here for a really long time. We're never going to move again. We're going to be here forever. They kept saying it. They said we're not going to move again. Like, like, yeah. We're never going to move. We can't move yeah. again. <laughs> we, and then, like, because grandma will yeah. not be able to make the move. Um, yeah. We did there. say there's one part from the beginning that's kind of creepy is when there's, she's, like, painting the mold on the wall, and then it, like, comes back, and it's just like, I'm good. what's happening? Oh, I actually really like that. Okay. Honestly, all the stuff in, this, in the first part of this movie could just be explained by bad wiring. Because, like, it just looked like... It looked like maybe like the some some kind of wiring, like a small electrical fire was just yeah. happening. It didn't even look. I like thought that looked cool though. I was like, that's a cool effect. I like that. I like no, I like I liked it, but I was just like, this just seems like it's just bad wiring. This house and that. Well, no, and that's what they say the that they have to replace their wiring like six times. Yeah, one well, then they said, it, and I was like, oh okay, yeah, great. Well, if you're you want your basement to do the laundry, let's say, and it's not like there's a goddamn Tesla coil down there. Yeah. I don't want to hear that goddamn basement. It's like wow. wow, wow, wow. So it's not like a live wire just flying around. Like, yeah, we're staying in a hotel tonight. Yeah. yeah like, uh, we There's can't something, live in this yeah, house. This isn't... Like, first of all, who inspected this house? No, and also, <laughs> if they were actually living like that, then they probably had that um, that thing that happens to you when you're, like, over... Wow, what is it called? They Dementia. used to talk about... No, they used to talk about it all the time. They used to talk about, about it all the time on Ghost Hunters. Because it's, they said people, people were being affected by, like, the electronic waves in the home more so than, like... So if you have a fan in your room and it's, like, slightly off and it's making a noise well, that, that you can't like, hear... Were being but you, manifested. like... Yeah, you... It, like, it basically... It, it heightens your your sensitivity because something yeah, sure. is going on in the background that you don't know what it is. We exactly. all, all know that ghosts manifest in this world <laughs> yeah. through you know evil deeds. I'm saying, but also sometimes there's a scientific proven fact for it. Victim souls. Okay, so, that was my favorite. Anyway. Part of this. Oh, also, I love when they're talking about all the all the stuff they volunteer for, and they're like playing baseball in the street. <laughs> It's like, yeah, like he volunteered the, the, the softball team. Yeah, the softball team. Like, like they're in the fucking yeah. street. Yeah. That's like, what is he got a field? Or, <laughs> or he got field. Or like, backyard. Was, or was, like, they don't. There. So they didn't have a backyard. But here's the thing: if it was supposed to be, I think that someone got confused, and it was supposed to be them just practicing. But they got gave them uniforms, so they're like practicing well, in their uniforms. That was one of the scenes where well, that I was the most troubling scene. Like, what the fuck? Out of all the ghost scenes, that was the most troubling scene. Plus, the cross street was very busy. I'm like, you're gonna hit a car almost immediately. Yeah. Game on! Yeah. Like, so. Game is over. You smashed that car. Like, um, so let's talk about the scene where the grandma says, um, well, she gets thrown down the stairs. She gets pushed down the stairs. And then she's like, oh, I just tripped or whatever. 
And then the grandma, she goes over to see yeah, the, the grandma because she gets scared. Yeah. She's hearing things and seeing things, and she goes over to see the, the mom. And the mom's like, I've never heard such foul language in my life. I'm a good Catholic. Maybe my son heard that in the Navy. Yeah, in the Navy. <laughs> I didn't know it was her until they kind of like went a little bit in the scene. So yeah. like, did, did she like hear the ghost say that? Yeah. And, but she's like, because she's looking like... Not at the camera or not yeah. the, per, the actress she's She's, like, looking with, away because like she's, like... this way, yeah. It was like, yeah, and she's basically, what? like, I know you've been my daughter-in-law yeah. I didn't, for I over thought she 10 years. Well, I thought but, she had her son at first. Yeah. So, like, oh, at least. Well, I think it's supposed to be that she heard both of them saying, like, horrible things no, to each other. No, I think she just was like, talking about the, the wife. Yeah. The wife. Oh, okay. Just, just her. And yeah. I was like... Yeah. Sally it's like, why don't you come over like nothing happened? Ask him about you. Right. And it's Smurl. You know, and, and the mom was just a bitch. And yeah. she's and then she doesn't fucking talk to her. She she's just like stops talking to her, even though she's known this woman. Well, like, that seemed like you think like, oh, something else is gonna come out of that. Like yeah. she's gonna keep things. I drove crazy old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing happens after that. It just Yeah, her yeah. her scene. arc was it's it's weird. weird. Yeah. It was just weird. It was there. Um, so then she starts getting, like, touched by the perverted mist at Oh, the ghost feeling her out? Yeah, 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 of course. Thanks, miss, was making her horny. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, that was very unconvincing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then she goes, oh. did you touch me? And he's like, turn the other way. I'm like, how would he have touched you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. It was like, will it get, which answer will get me laid? This, right. This is what a real man would have said. Right. Um, so then I love, uh, when... The boyfriend comes... There's some great lines in this movie, as cheesy as it is, is. The boyfriend comes over, and the mom is, like, fixing his jacket, and they're like, oh, do you know what French kissing is? Because it's supposed to be, like, a family drama. That scene was too and, long. But I love, I love how he puts on the jacket, and he's like, the button was missing for two weeks. I was cold that for was so two cold. weeks. Where's your mom? <laughs> Having your mom. Also, also it, there's five other, other buttons. buttons and there's jacket. still a jacket over your arms. <laughs> my my tongue tum is cold right down here. Like, okay, man. Um, yeah, also she smokes the entire movie. She's just got, like, a fucking cigarette. It's just an thing. actress like, effect, I think. It's like, like that. But you're showing that she's stressed. It's a yeah. stress effect. And they keep showing the actor with all the cigarettes in it. Right. So the one priest... I get where they're going. Their, their family priest, like, their parish priest comes and immediately is just like, well, you need counseling. That's what you need. You really need relationship Did anyone else think that guy was going to die? <laughs> yeah, I did, too. I was hoping I was he would. hoping he would die <laughs> yeah. for any kind of, like... There's it would have no made more sense for no, this that's movie. Why, that's why this movie's so fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous because these people are basically like all these horrible things happen, but no one actually really got hurt. But like it what was about, just you know. What about David Caruso priest though? Oh yeah. Wow. Like, yeah like, um, he like walks through the crowd. He's got a sunglass on. Like David. Caruso wait, we just priest. gotta talk about one also, other uh, dry milk toast for personality. Yeah, I, I like, know. Okay. Um, I have one other thing. So the first priest comes through and does his blessing, even though he like can tell something's happening and he like gets. Yeah, he's like, he's like dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. literally yeah. dying. And then he, but then he still oh, isn't. Then he comes out like, "Are you okay?" He's like, "I'm fine." He doesn't like, acknowledge no, it, right? He's such a dick. He's just like, "I'm fine." Um, Thanks but he should really go to marriage counseling. Yeah. <laughs> but really, <laughs> but also, I do a really great marriage so then, counseling. But I love. Okay, okay. Here's what it was. Here's what it was. He went upstairs. He saw their sex swing. That's why oh, he came okay, down. Right, and he was yeah. like, "You should go to marriage." Yeah. <laughs> but was it their sex swing, or did the ghost put it there? Either oh way, there's no way those guys had sex yeah. at all, ever. Yeah. And the, I don't even know how they made kids. Not even once. No, and I love how they try to seem like they like flirt with each other and it's stuff, but it's just terrible. No. Um, but I love. I mean, Jeffrey Demond is obviously a smoke show, but, <laughs> but it, I think it was Sally Kirkland's fault in this. Case. Um, so so I do love. I do love the line that he says that night. She's like, do you really think it's gone, Jack? And he says, I think that spook found a room at the Holiday Inn. Yep. Racist. A spook. <laughs> oh. Well, he learned that from his mom because she is obviously, a, yeah, she's it's, definitely yeah. a racist. Like, that's why there's no black people. She has said, said, she has said, said has, like, no, has no, 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 said, no, 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 unironically no. colored people. And it, yeah. she definitely has. So. She definitely <laughs> calls Brazil nuts something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I can yeah. say what it is. I don't want to strike. Look it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so then... You know, they feel like everything's going well, and then the light fixture falls down and almost kills, like, oh, no, their kids. She fucking investigates this shit. Oh, yeah. She does, so, like, know, let's research. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Because she finds out that the whole neighborhood was built on an old mine shaft. Yes. Yeah. An old mine shaft. That made the, the... And there was a cave-in that made the form of a pentagram. No, yeah. No, the cave-in came... The, there was a cave-in, and then they found, like, a room where people had been setting up devil worship stuff, you know, back in the 1930s or some shit like that. Sure. Okay. Sure. I love that. Sure. I love from, like, the 60s to, like, 
the mid nineties uh, satanic worship was like the big thing, like yeah. in movies. Like, but but that's like, how you know it's bad. Is the house just been abandoned? Like, did no one know? Because everyone's like, when they're not there, there's shit going on in that house still. Mm. Like, no, I love that that scene too, where they go camping. Oh, but it's like, did they ever substantiate with any of the neighbors? No, this guy just took everything this, these people said and were like, yeah, this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I'm going to make money off this shit. Well, and, like, they were literally, like, strengthening... The, the movie's about, like, strengthening these people's case the whole time. And I'm like, okay, this is not a good movie, though. Yeah. This is just like... They're just like, um, oh, by the way, also a third priest tried it out. And so it didn't for him The best part that we loved was, like, they kept saying that the devil was trying to tear their family apart. But we're like, every time something happens, it brings them closer yeah, together. So, closer like, together. it's not really working. They, like, camping together? <laughs> well, that's yeah. Right. yeah, that's, that's a good the, time. That's yeah. what the one priest told him. He's like, And the know, husband and wife were like, love. we can they really were telling, believe each other They were now. telling ghost stories uh, on the camping trip. That was fucking ridiculous to me. I was like, good. and then the ghost, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you stole my gold <laughs> like, It's right here. Like, I was like, why are we doing that? I'd be also like, I got it right here. Like at oh, this point, shit. the kid's head has been sliced by a piece of broken glass, and it was actually I think the kid telling the story. Yeah, uh, or that kid. She was like, "I'm fine now because yeah. we're out camping and we're away from it." I'm gonna tell a ghost story with the stitches. Again, in my head. this like, is more proof of what probably happened to them was like getting bothered by the wiring in this house because as soon as they leave the house, they're like, "We're chill, we're happy again." Guys, but no, you guys, it's a demon. There's a big scene a we demon. have to talk about with this demon. Ooh. Yeah. There's a ghost rape in this mm, movie. Mm, yeah. Mm, like, mm, a lot of mm, ghost mm, rape. Mm, like, mm, mm, over the pants. I don't think his pants yeah. went off. No, no, no. There's some, there's some penis pants. Oh, she on. definitely is yeah. like, yeah, she's like, getting him out. out. <sighs> she's getting him out. Yeah. And he's just chilling. No. He's, he's like, like oh, don't like, do yeah. it to me. No, well, obviously, she's so strong, she holds him down. He's also no, like, this is the first time I've been laying you. Yeah, like, wait, could I put it in the butt, too? Demon butt. Cradle my balls. Yeah. But also, so so this like this demon thing is like in the form of like a young, like a creepily young girl who looks a lot like his daughter. I will give you, she kind of looked like the daughter. Which she yeah, who like is also a young girl. So like I'm just like no. But then the, there's flashes of like John Lithgow, I think. Large like, Marge. It's like it's possibly, Large Marge. I, I was just like that's yeah. John Lithgow. I was like, oh, it's me. I'm like, oh, so. But then he was more into it. That was the worst part. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like also, like I was like thinking of like maintaining an erection with that. Like yeah. just like and it's I, like please stop. Please I mean, yeah, stop. Yeah, please stop. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's not thinking to stop. Yeah. The rest but at of least me. finish if you're going to do this, okay? I mean, stop after. The after worst part was the orgasm denial that he did. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting edged the whole time. He's like, that's <laughs> the worst. Oh, oh, no, but also the best. <laughs> um, yeah, I was. That scene was disturbing, but not like in a. Like that, but also, like I, love, I love, I love how like, the, I love the whole way it's so shot. Like, like they have the purple lights coming from yeah. the background and like the the fog coming from different directions. Which is, uh, no, and, like, yeah. He seemingly tells people this has happened to him. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, okay. Yeah, remember when the Warrens? So the <laughs> Warrens, you guys, so the Warrens, the infamous Warrens are in this movie. They the investigated this. Warrens. It's legitimate. They're like the they Zach Bagans of their time, yeah. basically. Lorraine, um, Lorraine Warren, played by Dan Bacon. Yeah. And uh, Ed Warren, yeah, played, played by Stephen Markle. Markle. No picture showing. Yeah. Him <laughs> he wouldn't do anything else. Not but really. Diane Baker's done a lot. Um, so I love how the Warrens come in and they're basically like, oh, spirits can make you do anything. They're demons. Yeah. They just, you, you can't. You're fucked. Like, what? They're like, like yeah. Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. That whole scene was fucking ridiculous as well. Like, the most ridiculous part is that they show these two ghosts that after later when she's describing the ghosts, she doesn't describe either of those ghosts. Mm. And I'm just like, no. she, sure. She describe any of those we saw. What the fuck? Like, like, why would, she, yeah. And she described like three that we didn't see. Like, <laughs> yeah. Where did we see those ones? Like, there's two no, and then I love, and, and then I love, yeah, of course. I love how how the and then the where's the demon Ed, Ed Warren's basically like oh and also your teenage daughters they're screwing this whole thing yeah, up they're hormones through, yeah, through 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 blood. puberty yeah. and yeah. they're bringing it making True. it all work we all know it's true. that watch this podcast yeah. you attract ghosts yeah. <laughs> and now you know when my daughter watches this in the future don't you dare bring ghosts into the house because <laughs> I know you will watch this when you're like sixteen and I love you honey. and it's, it's like, a great movie she'll watch it with me. She'll watch it with Aunt Katie because yeah, I'm gonna be like, let's fun. watch. She's this like, yeah, I got my period. You're like, we gotta, we gotta yeah, save the house, the haunted house, the haunted, we gotta the haunted. save the house, the haunted. Um, actually, Jamie does go say Hail Mary's house. So. I, I, I do. Say Hail Mary. I, it's good to have a good intent. Nice. Keep it's, the juice, it's especially nice with the neighbors that you guys have. Keep the, just keep the, mm. make it a safe. Keep that bad juju out. I know. I totally respect that. So. 
<laughs> but I don't believe there's demons. I'm just saying okay, it already happens. Saying. No, she doesn't believe in demons. Yeah, she yeah. just does because it's no yeah. demons. Um, um, so then yeah, they go... Puberty, puberty is evil, but also renovating is evil. Oh, yeah. If you, also, the more work you do in a house, the And by more renovating, they mean ghosts. we put up, like, wallpaper. They were like... <laughs> they didn't do anything in the house. They painted no, it. No, I love how they're like, they're like, did but you they renovate? Are. And they're like, extensive. Yeah, yeah like, where? Fixed the what fucking do? pipe. You didn't yeah. even they do fixed it. the pipe and they painted a wall. <laughs> That's it. Literally it. They Then they stopped. No, they did put a wallpaper. The ugliest fucking wallpaper you've ever seen. Yeah, like, it, it looked better as the mold. Yeah. Like, they did nothing <laughs> in the basement because it was so... No, the best part about the best part about that scene too is like where the mold is. She ended up putting like a big china cabinet there, so it's like it doesn't even yeah. fucking matter if you had mold. Okay. That's the best way to hide that stuff. That yeah. I found is just put stuff. Well, that's what yeah. she was like. She was like the pants not fucking working. Trying yeah. to put it. Yeah. You're all move, ghost. Yeah. I have a china cabinet, you bitch. Um, Sally Kirkland was though like I have to give her credit. She she was like the uh, Shelley Duvall of this movie. Let's say she did a good job of being a crazy woman. She was she was pulling down. She was she, you know, she definitely frazzled. Had to- I would definitely say Shelly Duvall as well. well. Like, she had the heaviest lifting and she did a good job, I thought. No, Shelly Duvall plays, like, is, like, the best crazy woman. That's like, what I said. She, I said yeah. she did a Shelly Duvall, right. for, like, performance. Oh, you were agreeing. Okay. Yes. I thought you said, like, Shelly Duvall did it. I'm yeah, like, like Shelly Duvall did it. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it, she, isn't every part played by Shelly Duvall in this movie? Oh, my God, that'd be amazing. Talk about buggy eyes. Woo. Um, Yeah. I don't know. We're Dominus coming to the end. Be, Let's bring it in. Uh, so, yeah. So, then they go to the press, because obviously that's going to help. And then, of course, it's the their press downfall. press is, like, all about of this course, shit. Of course, yeah. People way. are going to hang out for months yeah, at a like haunted house. Yeah, like, they are house. nuts. There, there, there's, like, 8,000 yeah. press members out here. Why have we not heard First about all, this in our lives? The best, like part, is, news the, the best part is, is that, like, they... They're so full of themselves in writing this book in this movie <coughs> that they, like, don't understand how fucking dumb they are. Because they're like, oh, we gave our story to, like, she has, like, three different reporters that she shows she's talking to, like, giving her story to. But then immediately they're like, oh, they're, now the press is too interested. You need to leave us alone. We need our privacy. Why don't you leave us alone? Like, you yeah. did this, man. Yeah. Uh, did the scene where, where the grandfather and the dad and, and the dad go the guns. Yeah. And the guns are like, are you going to shoot them? Yeah. What's your end game here? Also, Shooting you know, them? no one also, was. I want to kill a person also, tonight. Also, they were kind of pushed through the crowd with the gun, and they don't yeah. seem they seem mildly disinterested yeah. Yeah, by like, the guns. Like, oh, those are props. We know. Like, yeah, yeah no, but you're gonna react like, to it. If something had a gun near me, I'd be like, whoa, yeah, like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. And also, he's like, I'm gonna shoot a person. I'm like, oh, this is where he breaks, right? Yeah. No. 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 no, because remember the prayer group came in and they had all the yeah, candles. they had like a carol. The best part was the fucking carol was at the end. Yeah. Like. Oh, the ghost is gone. And they're like, yeah. nope. And you're like, okay. We are the light of the world. I like you like That's I right. love the Catholic music. She watched it ten times. Dude. This is <laughs> what Catholic music sounds like. It's the worst kind of this music. This is what real like music this. sounds like. No, that's what Catholic music really sounds like, though. Their stuff does not rhyme. It's just lines from the Bible oh, set me, to music. Believe me, we've Catholic yeah. music. We yeah. know. It's terrible. And dated Catholics. Cool. I, I, I was married to one, so I mean... I did. I can't, Kathy can't judge. Kathy. I mean, you have to, right? Because mm-hmm. you're redheaded. Right? Um, so she has the guilt. Still. Also, okay. I, can we just talk about the scene? Because it's one of my, also one of my favorite scenes before the end, where she. So it's the second time she gets like pushed down the stairs, like legit. And like, the like, laundry goes the fucking stairs. everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, yeah. ow! She goes yeah. thrown forward, and stopped. I, actually, goes I wrote back. I wrote, "Ghost is a dick." I was yeah. Like, what the fuck? Ghost then, dropped her heart. And then I love how she gets upstairs and she's like searching frantically for the holy water everywhere. She's throwing shit around. She's like, "Where's the holy water?" And then she's like. Oh, I just tripped. Everything's fine. I tripped. Yeah, she's got like power like, on no, her. No, yeah, you. It's okay. She got like Batista bomb by the ghost. And what the fuck is happening here? You got yeah. Batista bomb oh, on some stairs. God. So, so then like, they go to their new spot. house, and of course you hear Janet. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's the it's the grandmother, and then she's like. Janet, and it's like, oh, but it's a different direction. It followed. <gasps> it followed them. My, my favorite scene, I think, my favorite scene, yes. uh, which we did not mention, was the Go scene ahead. when they're both in the bed, and the, like she is like getting pulled off the bed. Oh, and, and he can't and, like, move for way too long. Yeah, the scene goes on way too long, yeah. and then she's like, these are they, they feel? But do you feel it on my leg? And she puts his leg over her leg. Yeah. He puts his leg over her leg. To feel, to yeah, feel, to feel. and it's like the scene. He's just like, <laughs> like over, like, 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 like now you yeah. believe me? No, he's yeah. Oh my god, he's probably the worst actor in this movie. The only thing he's good at is being like the, the asshole best. dad or husband. Who's I was just at like, the wine club getting a beer you. with the boys. Yeah, I don't believe you. Yeah, I just come home and it's not. 
damn issue every night. It's just a like, fucking Jesus. asshole. Jesus. But um, I he's such a terrible actor because when she's like yeah levitating. Jeffrey Demond, we love you. Yeah. Podcast. Don't, yeah. Okay. Actor. He's on the podcast. He's he's lying there. He's like I can't <laughs> move. Like, and then he's just there's just a bunch of shots of him going like they this, and then all of a sudden he can't move. Like, it's ridiculous. And and no, in this book story, they did, just didn't show him where he apparently got raped like three times. Because, you know, they apparently. The second yeah, that times. demon lady was like really giving it to him. Jesus. She was taking his masculinity, you guys. Obviously. That's what women do. I don't do. like it this time. That's what women do. Mm. <laughs> It's like, now I can only really come up on wearing a gift mask. <laughs> so, sweet, sweet. anyway, you guys, this is my childhood. We just dissected my childhood. Do we burn this after watching? He, he, the whole time we're watching, he's like, this isn't that bad. It was like, that bad. It's not the worst no, thing we've like, ever watched. It could have been a lot worse. It yeah. wasn't the worst thing we've ever watched by like, far, but it was the worst boring. thing we've watched in this thing. Like, it's funny, but it's, you're right, they don't take risks. It's like, yeah. it's very... Like, every time you're like, this is going to be a good scene, yeah. they spoil it just by not, but just like doing something stupid. You know what movie we have to watch that's my favorite in the franchise and would be a great movie to watch? Is there a franchise for this? Wait, what? Uh, the Fast and Furious oh, Tokyo I, Drift. No, do we have to watch all of that? I've never watched the Fast and Furious okay. movie before. The, I, you I what? I've never watched the Fast and Furious movie. Okay. But, long. yeah, th- that was how I felt about Tokyo Drift. So we're watching it, and every time I'm like, oh, something awesome is going to happen. That's the best one. Something terrible. It is, I've and heard that it's so one. terrible. Yeah. I'm so... We have to watch it. We have to watch it. And Han's back, guys. I saw the trailer. I don't know what that means. Like he's That's dead, the first guys. movie he's yeah, I guess in, he dies, so. yeah. I guess he dies, I don't know. Spoiler for the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Anyway, and John Cena, guys, we love you. Watch this. Watch the haunted. I love it. I love Sally. No, burn after watching it. We love you. Don't burn it. I would say burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Mix burn.